In today's lecture, we will discuss about instance variables in Java. So, what do we mean by instance variables? See, if any variable is declared inside the class but outside the methods or blocks or constructors, then it is called as instance variable. Fine. Or you can say that a non-static variable of a class is called instance variable. Basically, this type of variable is not declared with static keyword. That's why it is also known as non-static variable. Clear with this point? Instance variables are normal Java variables whose values will vary from object to object. Or you can say like this, instance variable is a normal Java variable. Its values are changed from one instance to another instance of an object. It means if the value of a variable is varied from object to object, such type of variables are called as instance variable. Fine with this point? So we have already seen that object has its state and behavior. So, the state of an object is defined by using instance variable. Okay. And the memory for the instance variable will be allocated during object creation time. Remember this point also. That when the memory is allocated for the instance variable at the time of object creation. Fine. And you know, one more point is here that for every object, a separate copy of instance variables will be created. Fine. It means every object will contain its own copy of instance variables. And now let's discuss about the scope of instance variable or life of instance variable. So, the scope of instance variable is exactly same as scope of object. It means instance variable will be created at the time of object creation and destroyed at the time of object destruction. Fine. This is what the scope of instance variable, which is what exactly same as scope of object. And the memory for instance variable will be allocated in the heap memory, you know, in the form of, in the form of what? Objects. Remember this point. Or you can say like this also, that the memory for the instance variable will be allocated in heap memory as a part of objects. Right? I hope these things are pretty much clear to you. Now, let's understand the concept of instance variable by the help of real-time example. Okay. So, suppose there is one bank. The bank name is what? Axis Bank. Now, a bank can have lakhs of customers, right? And the details like account number, name of customer, father name, PAN number, Aadhaar card number can be varied from customer to customer. Am I right? For example, this is what customer one, right? So account number for customer one is one, two, three. The name of the customer one is Naveen and the father name is AB. The PAN number is ABC123 and the Aadhaar number is what? 12345, right? So the attributes like what? Account number, name, father name, PAN number and the Aadhaar number, you know, can have different values for different customers. For example, if I have customer 2, then these attributes values are different. See, account number is 1 to 4, name is Nitin, father name is ABC, and the PAN number is ABC 1 to 4, and the Aadhaar number is 1 to 3, 4, 6, right? And same for the customer 3, and we can have like this, lakhs of customer in the bank, named as Access Bank, right? So that's why these attributes like account number, name, father name, PAN number, Aadhaar number should be declared as instance variables or object level variables. Clear with this point? 
I think now it is clear to you that what is the need of instance variable in Java application. Now one more point. See here, the bank name is Axis Bank. Now tell me, this all customers belongs to which bank? Axis Bank means what is the common thing here? The bank name is common thing here. So here the bank name field has the common value that is what the Axis Bank. As it is a common value which are shareable to to every customer object okay this values are shareable to every customer objects what is the reason because this all customers belongs to the access bank only so this is what the common point right the bank name field so that is the reason this bank name field should be declared as what static variable okay I think it is clear to you. So don't worry, we will see about static variables in details. Then we will discuss this thing in more depth. Don't worry about this. Now let's move ahead. Now let's discuss about accessing an instance variable. Here we will discuss about what? How can we access a instance variable? So in Java application, instance variables are accessed by using object reference. From the instance area, we can access instance variable directly. But from the static area, we cannot access instance variable directly. If we want to access, we have to use object reference. Keep this point in your mind. This is the syntax for accessing an instance variable. Object reference dot variable name. Fine. Let's see one example. So here I have what we have the class book and this class has three variables a string B name that is basically book name a string author and the float price. So all are what all are outside methods or blocks or constructors right and none of them has the static keyword right. So this all are what instance variable which are called when the object is created. Got the point? When JVM will call this instance variables when the object will be created at that point. Fine. So, you know, if instance variable is not initialized at the time of declaration, then it is initialized to a default value at the time of object creation by JVM. Remember this point, if you are not providing any value or if you are not initializing the instance variable at the time of declaration, then it is initialized to default value at the time of object creation by JVM. JVM is responsible to provide this default values. For example, if, if the data type is a string, then what is the default value? Null. Right? I hope you are clear with this point. Now let's see the next. Uh, so this is one note so non-static or instance variables get memory location when object is created using new keyword this we have already seen that when the object is created then only this variable will get a memory location and the instance variables get memory with respect to objects that's why it is also called as object level variables or properties or attributes I hope this thing is clear to you. Now let's discuss one example in our Eclipse ID. So let's go to the Eclipse ID. So I have this Eclipse ID open. Now we already have this oops concept project. So inside the SRC we have this com.navin package. Right click, new, then create one class here named with book. I want the public static void main method inside this. Finish it up. Now inside this class, inside this class, let's declare three variables or you can see let's declare three instance variables like a string book name. First variable. Second one is what a string author. The third one is what float price. Fine. So this three are what the instance variable, right? Now this is what a main method, main method. And this main method is of what type static type here. See static type. So in order to access the 
instance variable so in order to access the instance variable from static area okay we have to create a object for book class and using the object reference we can access this instance variables so how can we do this see book book is equal to new book don't worry we will see this in details uh, how to create an object in the next lecture so sys out and use the control space so it will automatically write this complete line for you and if you want this line again then you can use control alt down arrow and one time more down arrow because i have three variables so i want to print all that so the first one is what book name so using the object reference we can access right so object reference is what book so book dot book name next book dot author next book dot price right done now right click run as java application see what is the value null null and 0.0, .0. so here if you see here the instance variables are not initialized at the time of declaration so jvm will provide the default value that is the reason you are seeing the output as null null and 0.0, .0. i hope this thing is now clear to you let's go back to our project or uh, ppt okay I have explained this so let's discuss in detail so what will happen at this line book book is equal to new book here so you know at this line when the JVM will encounter this line then the book object will be created in heap area this is the heap area okay heap memory and inside this one object will be created that is what a book object a book class object and the book object will be initialized with default values of instance variable by JVM. Like here what? Book name, author and price. And it is initialized with what? The default value. What is the default value for a string? Null. Here also see default value of a string? Null. And default value of the, pri uh, the price which is of what type? Float type. So 0.0f. Right? And what is the reference? Here object reference book. It means this book is what the object reference. So this is pointing to this object which is basically created in the heap area. So I hope this thing is pretty much clear to you. So that's all about the instance variable in Java. Once we will cover how to create object, then we will see more about the instance variable. So thanks for watching this video. Please like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel.